This is the Law of Conservation of Matter lab, where we're going to be studying the Law of Conservation of Matter and finding out how much carbon dioxide is produced during the reaction between acetic acid and sodium bicarbonate. We're going to start by taking a beaker, empty beaker, and finding its mass. So the mass of our empty beaker is 97.43. 97.43 for the empty beaker. And we're also going to find the mass of an empty weighing dish. Our empty weighing dish is 2.21. 2.21 for the mass of the empty weighing dish. All right, now we're going to take our two reactants. Uh, our first reactant is acetic acid, also known as vinegar. So we'll pour about 40 milliliters of acetic acid into our beaker. We'll put that on the balance. And we find out that the mass is 138.63, 138.63 for the acetic acid in the beaker. And then we're going to take our weighing dish and we'll add one small scoop of sodium bicarbonate, also known as baking soda. And we'll put that on the balance and that has a mass of 4.66, 4.66 for the mass of the sodium bicarbonate in the weighing dish. You'll need to subtract the mass of the empty beaker and subtract the mass of the empty weighing dish in order to figure out how much just the reactants weigh. Uh, we're testing the law of conservation of matter, which is that the reactants should weigh the same as the products. During a chemical reaction, we're not creating or destroying matter. We're just uh, changing its, how, it's, how it's connected, how it's bonded together. Um, so you'll have the same number of atoms. They'll just be connected in a different way. So we're going to add the sodium bicarbonate slowly. We'll stir and we'll let it react. Uh, you're probably familiar with this reaction. It's baking soda and vinegar. And one of the products is carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is a gas. And you can see the carbon dioxide escaping as these bubbles. Uh, one of the signs that a chemical reaction is occurring is the formation of a gas. And you usually see that as bubbles. So we'll just continue to add the sodium bicarbonate kind of slowly. Make sure we get it all in. Then we'll stir it. We're just going to stir this until all the bubbles have finished forming and most of the bubbles have popped. So the law of conservation of matter says that we know the mass of the reactants, we're going to measure the, react the mass of the products, and they should be the same. Uh, that's assuming that all of the products are still in this container. We have to think about the fact that carbon dioxide is a gas and it may be able to escape as this reaction takes place. So the reaction's finished, we'll just stir it a little bit more to try to get rid of some of these bubbles, release the carbon dioxide, and I'll put that back on the balance, and it's 139.88, 139.88 grams for our product. And now you can subtract the mass of the reactants from the mass of the products and compare those two and see how much carbon dioxide was actually produced during the reaction.